Transition and the official announcement, Connecticut's Education Commissioner Miguel Cardona picked to lead the Federal Department of Education. And this critical moment of our nation's history, it's essential that there is an, educating, an educator serving as Secretary of Education. I want to make that clear again. An educator, someone who's taught in the classroom, comes out of the classroom. Today, I'm pleased to announce that such a nominee we have, Dr. Miguel Cardona. Like uh, other cabinet nominees and appointees, he's brilliant, he's qualified, and he's tested. And he's going to join the Biden-Harris cabinet, uh, and it's going to be a historic cabinet. And Dr. Miguel Cardona joining Biden at the transition headquarters in Delaware today. Cardona highlighting how the coronavirus pandemic has impacted teachers and families. For so many of our schools and far too many of our students, this unprecedented year has piled on crisis after crisis. It's taken some of our most painful, long-standing disparities and wrenched them open even wider. It's taxed our teachers, our leaders, our school professionals and staff, who already pour so much of themselves into their work. So it's our responsibility, it's our privilege to take this moment and to do the most American thing imaginable to forge opportunity out of crisis, to draw on our resolve, our ingenuity, and our tireless optimism as a people, and build something better than we've ever had before. That's the choice Americans make every day. It's a choice that defines us as Americans. It's the choice my grandparents made, Avelino and Maria de la Paz Cardona and Hermana Muniz Rosa when they made their way from Aguada, Puerto Rico for new opportunities in Connecticut. I'm proud to say I was born at the Yale Lakers housing projects. That's where my parents, Hector and Sarah Cardona, instilled early on the importance of hard work, service to community, and education. I was blessed to attend the public schools in my hometown of Meriden, Connecticut, where I was able to expand my horizons and become the first in my family to graduate college and become a teacher, a principal, an assistant superintendent in the same community that gave me so much. That, that is the power of America. And I, being bilingual and bicultural, am as American as apple pie and rice and beans. Here's more on Cardona's rise to this uh, cabinet level position. As he said, he was raised in Meriden, graduating from Wilcox Technical High School and Central Connecticut State University. He got his master's and doctorate from UConn. Cardona became an elementary school teacher in uh, Meriden, his hometown, in 1998. He served as a principal for a decade before becoming an assistant superintendent in Meriden. And then in August of last year, he was appointed by Governor Ned Lamont to run the State Department of Education. Uh, Cardona has a big job ahead, not only to help navigate schools through the pandemic, uh, but Biden also charging Cardona to lead his effort to improve the nation's education system, tackling inequities. Biden proposing affordable higher education, including free community college and free public college for families that make less than $125,000. Biden also pushing to cut student loan payments down with income-based plans.